Star Soldier Vanishing Earth is a vertical scrolling shmup developed by Hudson Soft and released for the Nintendo 64 in 1998. It is one of the few shooters released on the N64 and one of the even fewer to ever be released in North America. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth takes a very straightforward approach in its presentation. There are three different ships to select, each with a different primary weapon, secondary weapon, along with varying speed. There is a nice balance here between power and spread. The blue ship has a powerful laser, but the spread is rather limited. It makes up for this by moving rather quickly. The red ship has a wide Vulcan cannon, featuring great coverage over the majority of the screen. However, the shots are weak and it will take a few extra moments to take down waves of enemies. Because the enemies are on the screen a bit longer, you'll have to dodge a few more of their incoming shots. Each ship is also equipped with a secondary weapon. These are incredibly powerful shots, usually best reserved for bosses. This powerful laser cannon makes quick work of the game's end bosses. Finally, you have a temporary shield protecting you from incoming fire. Enemy bullets will ricochet right off. However, your timing needs to be perfect, as it doesn't last very long. Nothing is worse than thinking you are going to reflect a bullet, only to get hit and lose a life. There is a really nice balance in Star Soldier Vanishing Earth that I really appreciate. The trade-offs with the different weapons make playing through the game a few times with each a lot of fun. In fact, nearly everything about Star Soldier Vanishing Earth is a lot of fun. Your main weapons can be upgraded a few times, vastly increasing your firepower. When you die, you pick up right where you left off and lose just a single level of your weapon. It is fairly forgiving, and means when you die, you aren't punished too severely. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth is not the deepest shmup I've ever played and definitely shares more in common with an early 90s shooter rather than a late 90s shmup. The enemy patterns are fairly basic, and the bosses aren't very special, but I actually really like this. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth is very approachable, regardless of skill level. The gameplay mechanics are not overly convoluted or confusing, just dodge and shoot. Graphically, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth holds up fairly well. Your ship, along with the enemies, are well animated, featuring a decent amount of detail. The backgrounds are also interesting, ranging from computer imagery, space, factories, and even Mars. There is enough variety between the stages to prevent them from ever feeling stale. I also like how this doesn't feel like a Nintendo 64 game. The textures are fairly chunky, with plenty of contrast, rather than being washed out or blurry. The music might be my favorite part of Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. In my opinion, music is of the critical importance in a shmup. It has to set the tone for the entire adventure, from the pacing to the environments. For the most part, it delivers. There is a nice blend of house-style beats and an almost tranquil lounge feel that works really well together. There is also plenty of bass, which is always appreciated. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth doesn't receive much praise, and the cartridge can be found for much cheaper than other good shmups of the era, averaging around $10 for a loose copy. The lack of any real gimmicks, somewhat easy difficulty, and the fact it was released on the Nintendo 64 instead of the PlayStation or Saturn probably contributes to this title's lack of demand. Reviewers in the 90s were not impressed with the game's overly generic gameplay, desiring something more to differentiate Star Soldier Vanishing Earth from its contemporaries. However, I find the game is aged rather well. It's not the most unique shmup, nor the prettiest, but this is a really solid experience from beginning to end, and an absolute joy to play. 4 out of 5.